Hey you, welcome to Average Money Works. This channel right here, I'm demonstrating how I'm using the stock market to build income, extra uh, extra income, make some extra money, uh, pay off my bills, my debt, save for um, a few things. Christmas is around the corner. I might want to buy my uh, nieces a few gifts, you know what I'm saying? So just using the stock market for different things. And I want to show you guys exactly how you can use the stock market for different things. And I'm documenting my own my own results, my own progress and all that here. So before we begin, none of this is a recommendation. None of this is advice. This is just me documenting my own journey towards financial freedom, reaching my financial goals. And I wanna use this platform to show you guys that in real time. So, so far, just last week, we only did one move and I got a, basically I sold a put. So what that means is I agreed to buy the shares at a certain price. And if the stock fell below that price by the expiration date of my contract, I would have to buy 100 shares. But it didn't do that. In fact, it went the opposite. So I was able to make all my money. I made $47. 2019 or 2,119 is what I left in my account. And I withdrew $28 right here. And that's what got put into my, my savings. So right now I have $28. It may not seem like a lot, but you add that up over time. And, you know, that's money that you never had. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So right now I'm going to do a couple new options, a couple new plays. And I want to show you guys how I'm using, you know, $19 to get started. So you don't need thousands of dollars like they like people say, like you think um, you can get started with a dollar. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show you guys right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is the same thing I did last time, which was I sold a put. So. I'm going to buy the option on this. Or I'm going to sell the option on this company right now. So you guys can see it's 1238, the 18th. So this option is going to expire in two days. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell this option saying that I'll buy these shares for $17. So right now they're trading at $7.99. So it has to drop $0.99 cents and go below $17 in order for me to buy the shares. Now, it sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually not because... If I was to buy the shares right now, I'd be buying them at $17.98, but I'd basically be getting them for a discount at $17 if I have to get exercised. And I'm kind of doing it on this one just because I think it's a possibility I could get exercised and get assigned to these shares. So I want to be able to show you guys what you can do if you happen to get assigned. So I'm going to go ahead and um, sell this option right here and it's going to be the same as last time. So I'm going to get a credit of $20 not quite $50 like last week, but like I said, we're in this for the long run. So you can't look at the, uh, you can't look at how much you're getting right now and, and calculate all your, your profits from that. All right. So right there, it shows you minimum credit of $20 collateral 17, which basically means out of all my buying power, $1,700 is what I need just in case I have to buy the share. So they're just going to put it like in a, uh, like an escrow account kind of. So let's go ahead and submit and see what happens here. And if that, ha if that works out, we're going to get $20 added to our buying power. So it'll be $39.98 or if they did what we did to me last time and took two cents, it's going to be a little off. So let's see what happens here. All right, there we go. So I got filled, got my contract. So let me hit done. Let me go to right here. There we go. So um, my computer is slow as hell. All right. So I got the contract. $1,700 is on hold. I got $439. So you see that little 20 added, not quite $20, but I'm just going to round it up. It's all right to round up or I could just round down to the, not, to the dollar below. That might be better. So actually let's put $19 here. So let me go to my thing and put this in my tracker. I got the slowest computer in the world. I'm gonna have to upgrade real soon. All right, so I got Palantir. I'm doing the wheel strategy just like this one. So let me just copy and paste it. Today's date is November 18th. We, we did a single contract. The contract expires on November 20th. And the strike price was $17. So I'm staying within my budget. Like I said, not paying attention to the credit that I'm getting because let's say I do get assigned, right? And I have to buy the shares for $17. Let's 
and then next week it goes back up to $17.98 like I did. Even though I only make $19 here, if I have to sell my shares, I made $98 off the share price, off the share sale. So that's where this strategy comes you know, in handy where if you get assigned, it's not even a bad thing because now you get to sell covered calls. So um, that's basically how this works. So I'm just gonna leave it like this and I wanna put, I wanna buy two more things. So, all right, so I'm looking at American Airlines. I have all this crap here. Um, doesn't really mean anything to you guys, but to me, this is where I decide if I wanna buy or sell something. Um, I always look at the chart and right now I do wanna buy this. So like I said, I'm trying to only make 5%. So that's where I put my, that's where I put my profit taking uh, zone basically. So if I pull up this calculator right here, $12.70 times 0.5. So I'm trying to make 63 cents. It don't sound nothing crazy. I could just try to go up for a dollar, but we'll see what happens. So basically, um, the share price has to go up uh, to $13.40 basically. And once it hits this price, I'm going to get out. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm going to do all of that right now. So let's go back to Robinhood, type in American Airlines. Airlines have been like hit the hardest by COVID, so their prices are extremely low. And, um, you know, it's a good, I wouldn't say now's a good time to buy because it could still drop. As you can see, this is like on the day, the daily chart. This is the month chart. As you can see, there's nothing there. All right, so this is the monthly chart. So it kind of stays within this range. This is $10. This is 13.45, so it's hit that before, just a couple days ago. This is when um, Pfizer came out with their news. So let's go ahead and buy one share. So buying a share at $17, at $12.76. Bam. All right, so here we go. I got my share. Right now I'm up two cents. Kind of nice. Obviously two cents ain't that much, but you guys will get to see how this all plays out. So let me put this on my tracker as well. So I'm on the Robin John. I got American Airlines. I'm just going to say um, stock. So I just bought stock. There's no expiration date, no contracts, or we can just put one. I'll put it in parentheses. Uh, what the hell? I'll put it in parentheses to basically say it's a share price. So I paid $12.77. So we're going to leave it like that. All right. So we'll keep track of this. And now, because I told you guys what my um, what price I wanted to get out at, I'm going to go ahead and place that right now. That way I don't have to sit and look at the screen every single day, every single week until it reaches that price. As soon as the share price gets there, it's going to sell it for me. And you call this a limit order. And right here it says good today. So that means that at one o'clock, if the price is not there, this order is going to basically get canceled. Or you can change it. And I'm going to go to good till cancel. So if your order doesn't execute, it'll expire in 90 days. So basically, American Airlines has 90 days to reach $13.40, which is what we came up with here. So $13.40, I'm trying to sell one share allow this execute allow this order to execute during extended hours yes right now it's going up a little bit so we're going to go ahead and review and review order and let this go through you're placing order good till canceled to sell one share of american airlines at 1340 per share yes that's what i want to do and now it's in there so now my order has been placed trying to make it to 1340 so now I don't have to stare at the computer screen. I don't have to keep checking. Basically, if it hits that price, it's gonna sell. If it doesn't hit that price, my order stays there. So if you got work, working nine to five, you ain't got time to be looking at the screen all day, checking on your phone, seeing where it's at so that you can get out. You can already set it right there like I did just now and it'll do it just for you. You don't have to look at it, like I said. So we're gonna leave this here, trying to make it to 1340. Really all we need is like some good news about airlines or whatever, and it'll go up. So we got that one set. And now what I want to do is also show you guys how you don't need to buy shares right out. So I'm going to go to Apple because Apple is a company that it's a good company. You know what I'm saying? It, you know, it's not going anywhere. 
and I was looking at the chart. Let me go to the chart. So just looking at this chart, you know, it's dropping. That doesn't mean that this is a, a bad time to buy. Really with Apple, anytime is a good time to buy. It's on an, a, a crazy uptrend. So what I want to do here is buy fractional shares. So I'm not buying actual shares. I'm buying by the dollars. So if you have a dollar, this is where I'm saying, if you only have one dollar, you can still get in. So let me scroll down. What the hell is going on? All right, so I'm scrolling down. I have $427.19. What I'm gonna do, and I'm, I'm not gonna use that $19 that I got, so let me just do this math real quick because I'm kinda. So I have $8, so I'm gonna buy $8 worth of Apple. Fractional share, so I don't even have a whole share, but I just wanna get in and get a piece of it, and we'll see what we get. So with this one, there we go, purchase. So I'm, I'm invested $8 into Apple as well. So now I have three positions. Let's go to, let's go back here. So now I have a fractional share of Apple and have a whole share of American Airlines. So with American Airlines, we already set our profit zone. So that's just gonna sit there until it goes. With Apple, I'm just gonna let this sit there and just monitor it every day and see where we are with the prices and gauge it that way. So two different ways, all three ways we're trying to make money. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Let me put this in my tracker real quick. So same thing, Apple buying stock. Um, we can put today's date on these two. Whoops. All right, actually, let me get rid of this. We'll just put one. So one share. This is a fractional share. So what? What? Let's put a. We'll put eight dollars in this one. All right. So there we are. We're set. I made three plays today. I'll hit you guys back up tomorrow. See what we get into. See what it's looking like, and we'll go from there. So if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I'll get that answered in the next video. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Peace.